I wrote to President Tusk to seek formal approval for the legally binding assurances on the Northern Ireland backstop and alternative arrangements agreed in Strasbourg on the 11th of March. I reported your statement, Mr Speaker, which made clear that for a further meaningful vote to take place, the deal would have to be fundamentally different, not different in terms of wording, but different in terms of substance. I explain that as a result, some honourable and right honourable members were seeking further changes to the withdrawal agreement. The Council formally endorsed the legal instrument relating to the withdrawal agreement and the joint statement supplementing the political declaration. This should increase the confidence of the House that the backstop is unlikely ever to be used and would only be temporary if it is. But the Council also reiterated, once again, its long-standing position that there could be no reopening of the withdrawal agreement. So however the House decides to proceed this week, everyone should be absolutely clear that changing the withdrawal agreement is simply not an option.